everyone, it's Colleen from BTE's Therapy Spark. Have you heard of blood flow restriction therapy? It's a technique that athletic trainers have been using for decades, but physical therapists are starting to pick it up as well. Let's talk a bit about why it's beneficial and how you can do it safely. At its most basic, blood flow restriction therapy means using a pressurized cuff around the proximal part of the limb. The cuff slows down blood flow away from the limb, but it's not tight enough to stop blood flow to the muscle. This allows the person to reach fatigue and increase muscle mass with minimal loading. That means it's helpful for injuries and for post-op. It can be pretty intimidating if you've never tried it before. So here are a few important safety measures for doing blood flow restriction therapy. Number one is the cuff itself. You should use a nylon cuff that's specifically made for doing blood flow restriction therapy. You should not use a regular exercise band. Because those are elastic, they distribute the pressure unevenly, they don't have a pressure measurement device, and they're probably too narrow. And that means you'll be risking blocking too much blood flow, and that isn't good for anybody. Number two is cuff placement. Generally, you want to place it as proximally or close as possible to the trunk. Number three is the most obvious, and that's the actual pressure measurement. The pressure is normally calculated as a percentage of complete blockage, which you can measure using an ultrasound. The safe zone for most blood flow restriction exercises is about 40 to 80% of complete pressure, but the exact number varies based on the cuff width and the width of the limb itself. If you want to learn more about blood flow restriction therapy and see some examples, check out the article on our blog, Therapy Spark. See you next time.